cool. All right, I just want to welcome everybody to Play Radio. I came up with an idea to interview Flav based off a song that he has, and I it, it started like a dialogue, and I think it was pretty interesting. Because I went from just completely falling in love with this song to wanting to know more about you as an individual. Okay. Tell me more. Okay, so I just feel like clearly you know I've been making a huge effort as far as, you know, our process of knowing each other. However, when I listen to your music, look, I feel like I know you on a level that you know I know you on but when I listen to your music it kind of opens up a Pandora Pandora's box that I don't think you realize um so it's like I I know you and I know you're creative I know you're smart but when I hear your music it just is like whoa this is how in depth it is and one of the songs that remind me of the way I feel when I cross over from knowing you personally to personally knowing your music is Talk To Me. Yeah. That's the song playing in the background right now. Yes. I love this song. It's a song for the ladies. And it's definitely a song that if you have a bae and you might have messed up, or even if you didn't mess up, if you wanted her to have some kind of idea, her or him, to have any kind of idea what kind of person you would be in this relationship you would play this type of song you would play this exact song facts <laughs> so what I want to know is um, we were talking a little bit earlier and I want you to tell them like how this song came about you were in Texas yeah I was in Houston and I was enjoying myself and the craziest part about it is that when this song came to me it came in the moment that I didn't expect because first of all we were chilling it was me and my homies you know just chilling at the crib shout out to B Buddy you know Ashley and Ashley you know you know rapping Ava you know gang gang so you know we were just chilling and all of a sudden the lights went off and it's like what why are the lights off right now it was raining of course you know it was 2018 and Hurricane Harvey happened too so it was just like okay we understand but at the same time we were just chilling and all of a sudden I was like you know what I'm gonna go upstairs and make some music just out of nowhere like right now we're doing a podcast so (laughs) So, so the lights kind of like the lights are off you know what I gotta go do something creative yeah I wasn't thinking about oh what song do I want to talk about I didn't think about it I just said hey this is exactly what is supposed to be happening right now and it just came to me and then I did the first verse and then I went back downstairs and I was like guys and of course I would never finish the song in a day that's if you ever finish the song in a day that's great but I don't think professionally that's supposed to happen if I'm talking professional like releases, like there's a lot that takes into just releasing one song. One song is like a product. It's a it's a record. So you have to treat it like a record. And I went back downstairs with the first verse complete and I was like, Hey, let me play for my guys. Let me and one of them was like, For me, for me, for me and I was like, Yeah <laughs> Yeah, this is the song. But at the same time I was not sure who should have been on that song so right next to me was Kennedy shout out to Kennedy and he's my homie too you know we were all in Houston chilling and he has a great voice and I was like bro your voice right now would be perfect on this so song Kennedy is the one singing yeah Kennedy is the one singing you know and he was just like he doesn't want to do music he doesn't want to be about music. He just wow. wants to sing and just worship God. Like, That's amazing and, and, because he sounds great. And I love his sound. So I, I give him all the respect because I can't afford someone to do what they don't want to do. You know, mm-hmm. at the same time, I was like, even if I do a video to the song and you're not in it, I'll make sure that that hook kicks. You know what I'm saying? Because you got, you did it. You know, you put that hook together. And and I was like, we, we wrote, I remember days and days, we sat down, he came with a pen and pad, we were writing the song, we did the melody, we recorded on the phone, it wasn't hitting, I was like, fuck. We went back downstairs, so it was just a process. We were like, what hook would fit? And then I now did that 
always on the go. She's my green light. And I was then I was like, ooh, let me add this and this and this. I was thinking about um, Up All Night by, you know, Beyonce and Jay-Z. Mm. And I was like, oh, you know, she talked about Drunk All Night. So I was like, okay, we be up. <laughs> you know, so I was, drunk you know, Drunk in Love. So yeah. I was giving that concept and I was building a flow that was like, let me talk more about it, but I'm, I'm talking less at the same time, mm -hmm. you know? So that's what gave me that impression. I was like, mm, this is what fits. And then Talk To Me came out like black and white. So that's like, okay, this is the clearest form you can ever get. Okay. And that's how this song just came together. And then shout out to Dozier, and, or in Igbo you say Dozier, you know? And, <laughs> and he's my homie in Houston too. He was on the saxophone. And I was like, oh. Bro, come over to the crib. Let's build this. And he did it. He did his reefs. And <sighs> one of the questions, one of the questions I want to ask is like, mm -hmm. when it comes to your music, yeah. When obviously you see me standing over this song, like I asked you, and I want to know in depth, and I want them to know, like, how do you feel when you see people fall in love with some of the things or some of your work that that's a little bit later a little bit older compared to things that you have out now how do you feel when you see that connection do you go back and reconnect with them or are you just like that's some of my old stuff that's a great question because in actuality i've looked at it in all angles <clears throat> and what i see is that the music I've been making has has been making a wave even before the wave started. So to me, it's like all I'm doing is just stirring it up. And then the day it hits, <laughs> God knows where it's going to go. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so I'm not worried about, oh, it's going to hit today, tomorrow, next week. My song is dropping today. I need to hit a million views. That's not my concern. So you don't get tired of it. I'm not going to stop. This is something I've been doing since I was six years old. So it's not like, oh, I want to do music. This is just what I just got into. And thank God my dad put me into the studio when I was 12. And I was like, Let when me did you record start song. playing drums? Six. Six. So it took me six years to get into the studio. And I was just drumming. And I was like, nobody taught me. And now I play drums off the beat. So what Drumline is also one of my favorite classics. You know? <clears throat> You know, and I just think about everything in that, and I'm like, whoa, this is things I've been doing. But you know, when someone gets famous, that's when you actually get the credibility, yeah. which just sucks. But at the same time, I'm like, that's not what makes me count. Exactly. What makes me count is the value that I add right now. And 50 years from now, this song could blow up. <laughs> five minutes from now. Five, five I'm minutes trying to from tell y'all, five minutes you know. from now. I love this song. Like it does something to me. It's so pretty. The saxophone, the vocals, the lyrics, the energy. I love this song. I would want somebody to play this song for me. Like I would accept a sorry if a guy like you know I you missed him. I'm sorry. <laughs> Let me play. Talk to me. <laughs> I'm like hey Google. <laughs> hey Siri. I look. It's cool. Like he, I feel terrible. better now. This is beautiful. He yeah. made my day. It's a really cute song, and it does that for people. It does it for me, so I know it will do, do it for other girls. I think it will. Really, the whole point of this song was to just tell the girls that they don't need to worry about what they look like, how they feel from the outside, what the guys feel about them, because that's what not, that's not what matters, period. That's not really the reality, because they do have stuff to work on, and I'm a guy too, so... When I think about it in the music perspective, I put the song to tell you, hey, be beautiful, you know, do you, you know, I love it when you have no makeup on. Some guys don't, I don't know why, but at the end of the day, it's preference and every person has their own choice. But I think the ultimate decision is what you want to do with what you have. And this song just brings out everything in black and white, as the song says. So it's like, do you, be you, do how you want to do it. And I'm going to keep doing me because so, I'm, I'm going to keep improving. You know what I'm saying? I think all you're so, asking is just like, keep an open line of communication. With yeah, you. that's all. And I've been in situations where it's hard for me to express myself because I'm like, oh, I wow. You know I thought I was the only one. It's That's why that's why I go with music. That's why I go into it. And I'm like, if you don't understand what I'm saying in this song, then you don't feel how I feel. Mm -hmm. Period. So if you really feel it and the lyrics are making sense, 
then you definitely know that either it happened to me or it's happening or it will happen or it could happen so that's why i'm like let me give you two sides of the story that's why this album really goes on a long stretch from giving you like all the back like if you listen to every word in this album cover for sounds too. two that's me right now mm-hmm. and it's like a whole reform and definitely the new music coming out like rocket just did it's a whole different vibe from this album so this album was more like let me balance <laughs> you know let me set the tone let me Sorry, let me you fan it anything you may have you made that decision. yeah i have a new song coming out and i played it for my friends <laughs> <laughs> And every time I played, somebody's somewhere dancing. <laughs> so I dance to it every time. I'm like, I don't every know time. who else is gonna dance to it, but as soon as you hear the the beat drop, it's like it's a summer anthem. We anthem. need it. We need it. I was After like, quarantine, <laughs> what? I was like, what do we need to get out of this space? Because I, I don't want to. I want to bring everything in just one little piece. And I was like, yeah, I got a two minute, 30 second song for you guys to bump to, like put in replay. And when the song is out, you're going to- Two go. minutes and 30 seconds. Okay, so the song might be- It, it might be a little bit more or a little less, but All it's not three minutes. Is repeat. It's not yeah, repeat it's not, for me. I don't know how long the song is because it's such a bop that I just, I want to hear it over and over. I feel like I should play for you guys, but at the same time, I'm like, that's too early because it's not, the month <laughs> is not even here yet. <laughs> So yeah, you can, we, we can we wait on it. We'd love to hear it, but I think you should make me wait. Yeah, I'll make you wait, but for now, listen to Rocket because when you hear Rocket, you know what's coming next. <laughs> exactly, know what's coming. just prepare. Rocket is like a rocket launcher. It's like everything's just got confirmed. Well, UFOs. I mean, my song is called Rocket, so if everybody's looking for a rocket, yikes. Mm-hmm. You know where to find it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's more like, okay, you know, let's let's get this popping, let's get this rolling. And the next song is also another name that is kind of like it goes a whole different vibe. It's whole, it has a whole different like aspect ratio to it. Like, you know, Rocket is air, you know, it's mm-hmm. space. And then there's a new song which is like a whole different. That. I did not think about that. So I'm taking like a whole. And then there's the next song. I'm really song, ready for the like now the, because I didn't think ooh, about that. And it's so creative. Let me just stop. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna give too much away. This is dope. What? Because this quarantine has really made me sit down and I'm like, what kind of music do I really want to pop out there? Like, what is the missing link? And what do I need to do now? And how do I need to change the game? How do I need to like add my own sauce to the pan? Because I'm like, I too got some seasoning. I cook, you know, I make some beats, you know, I, I, I can make some lyrics, you know, I can cook some food, you know, I can make some things happen. So why can't I make some y'all bop? Well, why not? I think you've definitely done it. Um, you've definitely done it. And just because you can appeal to so many different crowds and like demographics like there's you're gonna have a array of listeners you're gonna have the women you're gonna have the girls in love you're gonna have the single girls which is already a thing you're gonna have yeah. the the guys the the people who want hype music i hate to say it but it, all colors you're gonna not that i hate to say it i hate to say what i was thinking which was but either way besides the point you pretty much you're gonna be collecting several demographics with your music if you have not already done it because based on the amount of plays you get on apple music is pretty impressive thank you pretty impressive thank you i just think for now it's more like what can I do to give more value and make you guys really have a good time? Because music is not about doing stuff off the top of your head. It's more of doing music that makes sense, that you can relate to, and you can vibe with. I don't think you'd ever play a song for a minute or two that you don't like. Nobody in this world, tell me one person that doesn't like this song, then you turn it off. If you like the song, you're going to play it. If you don't like it, then you won't play it. But the reason why you play a song is because it speaks to you. It 
it's an emotion driven, it's a wave. So when you feel that wave, I'm sending that energy to you so you can probably do more <laughs> or better. And then that gives me a chance to be like, oh, I can come back with this. You know, that's why I come back with another song after Rocket. So you guys just wait on it. Talk to me is out there. The videos that are coming for this song are also going to be really impressive. And wait, wait. Tell them to stream Rocket. Apple Music. You can stream Rocket. Oh, yeah. Stream on Apple Rocket Music. on Apple Music. Yeah. That's, that's a vibe. Take it from me. And I have a great, I have an excellent music choice. Yeah, you do. You have a, you're an old soul, so you have that very. Yeah, but um, I can get there with yeah. music. Like the new, what's making people bop, listen, you know. Yeah. And I think you definitely have those characteristics. I'm excited because I already know it's going to blow up for you. Amen to that. You know, I, I'm just excited. I'm just literally waiting and just working. <laughs> I don't have time because in my head I'm like, what's going to happen? Like, where's all this music gonna go? But it's already here, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, it's just, it's just gonna keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. And I also have artists too that I, I work with, producers I work with, engineers that I work with who are also on board. So it's not just me. You, you know, have a team. I have a team. So shout out to Tedrick, you know. Tedrick. <sighs> Big time. He's a musical um, genius. He's like my 40 right now. He's like my. He's Ali. Your 40. <laughs> he's my next by Ali. You know, he's, he's that guy. He's my Dr. Dre. <laughs> he's that. He's the guy that makes me like, whoa. Okay, this is the this is the idea that I've stretched to you, and this is what you've given me back. Because that's what people need to understand about music. Like, you can have a great song, and I've done millions of songs before. Like, I've made songs on floppy disks. I've made songs on Skype overheads. I've made songs off, you know, CDs, cassettes, you know, I've been doing it for a while now, vinyl tapes, just trying to figure it out, you know, but at the same time, I'm like, eh, I, I think all this knowledge is not going to be in vain at some point in time, because when it starts to really make sense and music is starting to pop and people are starting to make a wave, you'll be like, oh my God, this song is kicking. And two years later, you'll be like, damn, this song was last year though, <laughs> you know? Yeah. But I'm like That's one of the things I wanted to know from you Like do you ever think Like this is my old song I, I feel like I'll always love my music Because it's therapeutic For me Because I know that This song's Made sense at Once upon a time Okay Once Even the oldest Go to my discography right now 2005 I have like 8 tracks on there And I, I just broke my voice I was 12 years old I hadn't broken my voice I was still like so I had that high pitch. <laughs> you can go listen to the songs over there. I was like a baby. Totally. I want to check it out. Yeah, and I'm like, that was me. But now I'm like, ooh, you know, I have a whole different vibe now. I make different beats. You know, even the keyboard that's standing in front of me right now, I've not used it. And it's very nice. I've not used it fully. It's almost a year. I've not used it fully. And the reason why I got it was just because the last time that I had one, it was a smaller one. And when I was about to leave, the, the edge of the corner that makes it pop, the connections, apparently just snapped and came out. I didn't know what happened. So I had to throw the whole thing away. Wow. So I had to take about two years to get this. And I was like, let me see what happens. What does this run somebody? If it runs somebody? Like, what is it? How is it expensive? It's fairly expensive. If you think about what it does and that product itself, that brand, that's why I got it because those guys are like top notch. It's like, it's like iPhone, <laughs> you, know? <laughs> you know, so it's very, very, and if you guys know what I'm talking about, it's called Alesis, A-L-E-S-I-S, you know, V61 and shout out to Ao, who is also a great guy and he's the one that made the beat for Talk To Me and other great songs like That's Your Problem. He's also made, um, damn, he has a lot of tracks on me. <laughs> but we, we've done a lot of tracks together, First Class as well. He, he did that too. And he told me where to get this. And I was like, well, let me go online and find it. So it's information is power at this point. So I'm like, hey, I'm going to take every bit by bit and then eventually make it pop. And then, whoa, we have songs, we have anthems, we have relationships, we have food, we have vibes. That's how I go with the music because I feel like this song will make sense one day, and 
that some people will be like, yo, I still listen to your old songs, and I'm like, I appreciate it because that's the song that I still people still hear my old stuff, and they're like, that was dope, and I'm like, huh? <laughs> wow. <laughs> and it's no offense to myself, but it's more like I'm really, really underplaying myself. You know what I'm saying? It's like. By the same time, I'm overshooting to the point where I can't even describe because I'm like, I'm giving him my all at the same time. I'm, I'm doubting, you know, who does that? But at the same time, I'm like, I'm not really doubting because I have faith and I know that this is the song that I'm going to release. This is how I'm going to sound. There's some songs I've never released. There's still like Ama, like which Ama. is a great song. He played me Ama and... Oh my gosh. <laughs> you, want, you like it? I do love it. I so, don't think people... I don't. You see, that's my problem. <laughs> yes. I don't know what like this whole entire time we've been talking is to get you to see like you know what one song created an entire dialogue like I, and people want to know about you. You know what I'm gonna do because you said it today and because I'm dropping a new song, I'm officially gonna drop this song today on SoundCloud. Ama. Ama. Are you? Yeah, I'm gonna <laughs> drop it because. It's one of the tracks that didn't make it to Colorful Sounds Yo, too. I'm clapping right now. I'm so and excited. I was like, I don't want to drop this song, but I'm like, since you're talking about it, you know what? Why not? Let's so see what happens. Let's they can hear feel. Ama, and then they can also listen to Talk To Me, right? Yeah. You can but hear, Talk To Me. Yeah. Talk To Me is also going to be a dope, dope one. It's gonna be I like, think you should put it. I should put it. Yeah. I'll, I'll, let, I'll definitely put it for you guys to listen to. So stay tuned. Listen to this song in the next few seconds because it's coming to drop. And after this song, go listen to Amma. Thank you so much. This is this is dope. I appreciate that concept you just dropped right there. So of course. it's a bombshell. You guys better thank me too because he's giving you two great songs. And on top of that, check out Maya Mars on YouTube. M Y I A M A R S. That's me. And like she's dropping a new video tomorrow too. So everybody's dropping low key. Everybody's <laughs> dropping low key hike. Hikey. <laughs> you know, it's about to be the end of April, so you're gonna, you know, just leave something in April and be like, you know, that's what happened. Welcome to May. Welcome to May. <laughs> <laughs> Cinco de Mayo. Cinco de Mayo. So maybe we can celebrate because we have so many things. So it's gonna be dope, dope, dope. What? You guys are gonna enjoy this song. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's all good. Yeah. You're gonna see what pops up. Yeah. <laughs> Trust me, Daddy. <laughs> uh. Uh. Hey. Hey, you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, there's a hand that are you looking good for? For me? For me? For me? You deserve the world Like a diamond pearl Like expensive curls That's my girl That's the girl a man with head over heels for Good head being bad body she's for Five star chick I'ma give a tip for 100% loving the sand loving the Always on the go she's my green light Stop bring it back It feels right We be up all night Alright 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 Always on the go she's my green Black and white, black and white. Girl, make your intentions now. I know I'm down no. for the ride. Oh, as long as you don't jump, just talk to me. Just talk to me. Talk to me. Hey, let me take you out. Snap, snap. Take a pick at you. Yellow dress, fine skin, girl, I'm feeling you. Spend my life with you. Have a kid or two. Spend my days with you. It's about to go down. But first, I gotta show how I appreciate your hometown. Your mama had to hold down. Your daddy was on lockdown. I'm glad that he's at home now to see what you become now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Always on the go. She's my green light. Stop, bring it back. It feels right. We be up. All night, all right, all right, all right, all right Always on the go, she's my green light Stop, bring it back, it feels right We be up all night, all right, all right, all right, all right. Oh, just put it in black and white 
girl, make your intentions known. I'm down for the right. As long as you don't choke. Just talk to me. Just talk to me. Talk to me. Always on the go, she's my green light. Stop, bring it back. Feels right. We be up all night. All right, all right, all right, all right. Always on the go, she's my green light. Stop, bring it back. Feels right. We be up all night. All right, all right, all right. Just put it in black and white. 